Hi guys, who doesn't like applesauce this time of the year? In the deluxe cooking blender, it is so easy. Remember the jams that I showed you not long ago that I made with this? We're gonna use the same setting uh, to make applesauce. And you're gonna love this. It, uh, it looks like applesauce when it's done. It tastes like apple butter. It's got that um, applesauce, apple butter type taste. And um, it's definitely good with biscuits, right? So, all I had to do was put a quarter of a cup of water in first. You always want to put your liquids first. And then we're going to put the fruit. Three pounds of apples quartered and cut up. As you can see, I had to pulse down the first two cups. And then I was able to add the last cup, the third cup on top. How cool is that? And then... We're going to put the lid on so we can start the cycle. The cycle is going to be about 30 to 45 minutes. And then when it beeps, um, halfway through the cycle, I'm going to add some, like a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and three tablespoons of maple syrup. And then we'll put the top back on, hit the button again, and uh, in another 30 to 40 minutes, it'll be done. So no more slaving over the stove, making applesauce, having to watch everything. You can get this cooking blender started and then you can go clean house, run errands, go to the grocery store, do whatever you need to do. And, um, or maybe you want to wait until you add the add-ins to do all that. But you can certainly walk away from this while it's processing. I love this thing. You don't have to babysit it. So, Let's go ahead without further ado and put this baby on jam. The same setting that we used to make the jellies not long ago. Okay, it's on jam. Hit the start button and we're off to the races. It's already heated up to 77 degrees, and as it's rotating slowly, it's heating up even more. And you can have one of these at 60% off this month, plus a, anything out of the catalog at 60% off. How cool is that for November? You get any two items, um, you get up to two items, anything out of the catalog or any set for 60% off. Just for hosting a fun virtual party. And um, you can pass around a catalog and collect a couple hundred dollars. Or we can do a quick virtual party on Facebook. Now those are fun because I give away prizes. Everybody loves giveaways at these parties. And we all learn something. We're all exchanging ideas on Facebook. And of course, I do all the work, right? All you have to do is invite your friends to a group that I would create. And we have a third option, a text party. Yes, that's where I text you the, your online shopping link. And you simply pass it around through texting to all your friends as you have time throughout the day. As you have time throughout the week. And um, if anybody, well, as people begin to order on your online shopping link, bingo, your free host rewards and your heavily discounts begin to stack up. It's that easy. All right, it beat at 210 degrees. It says add the add-ins. So be careful. In fact, I don't have to take off the lid. You could, but hot steam could burn. So 
we'll remove it this way. Isn't that neat? You can take the, uh, the top portion off that little inner ring. And that's a lot safer than removing the entire lid. All right, so now let's put a teaspoon of cinnamon and a couple tablespoons of maple syrup in here and uh, we'll continue on with, with the mix. Oh gosh, it smells like grandma's applesauce too. All right, that's about a teaspoon. <laughs> Of cinnamon and three tablespoons of good old maple syrup. One, And lucky me, I've got more in the cabinet. Be right back, just a sec. by the bell. <laughs> I knew I had an extra stash of good old maple syrup. So we got three tablespoons in here. We'll put the cap back on. Turn it counterclockwise, it locks in, and we hit the button and continue on. So we're at 205 degrees Fahrenheit. When it reaches 220, it'll be done and ready to sample. just ended. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> oh, are we ready to taste test? Right now, my house smells just like applesauce. Let me turn this light off. I know I'm glaring, um, looking like I've been touched by an angel. But um, this really is delicious. It smells like applesauce. It's going to taste like apple butter somewhat, or a mixture of the two. Um, you want to be careful when you're taking the top off. It's been cooking for quite a while. It went all the way up to 218 degrees before it finished. So you know it's hot, you know it's done. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to wear a pair of silicone gloves by Pampered Chef so you don't burn yourself with hot steam when you're taking the top off. Okay. Mmm, smells so good, oh my gosh. Oh, it almost has that apple pie smell from long, long ago. I haven't had applesauce that tasted this good since the days of living on the farm with mama and grandma and daddy and all of my uncles and aunts. And... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Doesn't that look delish? I don't want to pour it on the floor but I want you to be able to see it too. Oh, it's hot, I'm gonna have to set it down. All right, I'll set it right here for the moment. So we can taste test. This is always the best part of a party, isn't it? I love the taste testing. And if you like to um, 
Let me see if I can turn the camera down a little so you can see the applesauce. There you go. I think. No. Now can you? Yes. Oh my gosh. Well, let's give this a, a quick taste. Oh, it's hot. We'll have to be careful. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can uh, get this up now so we can see eye to eye. <laughs> there we go. Hello. I'm back again with Pepper Chef. Nothing's better than applesauce. Except having a party with you. Book a party with me, and you can go on a shopping spree. So book a party with me. <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. The house smells just like applesauce. How appropriate. It'll soon be Thanksgiving in, what, a couple more weeks? It's just around the corner. Mm-mm. Most definitely another good idea from Pampered Chef. 